All right, this is a first attempt to um, try to reduce hexavalent chromium in water to trivalent chromium in water. Now, uh, what I read online is ferrous sulfate and calcium hydroxide, otherwise known as lime, are what's required in order to make this happen. Now, I don't really know the the combinations here. I'm just going to put in a little and see what we get. Yeah, this is enough lime to do a sidewalk, I think. <laughs> but that's alright. Alright, what I'm going to start with is uh, half a teaspoon of lime per gallon that works out to quarter of a teaspoon in this application and then of the ferrous sulfate I'm going to use one quarter of a teaspoon per gallon And there's your one quarter teaspoon of ferrous sulfate. Oh, look at the pretty colors. So, there it is beginning to do its thing. I don't know what its thing is, but I'm going to stir it up at any rate. Now what I understood was this makes gunk. And so now we let it sit and see what happens. Well after just a couple of minutes I'm already seeing a lot of particulate on the bottom. Now before it was maybe this much. But it's already precipitated out most of the particulate after maybe three or four minutes. Well, I've done some of my samples. This was sodium hydroxide distilled water. You see the precipitate in the bottom. It's a little bit cloudy because it's still precipitating. There's sodium hydroxide and softened water. I haven't done this one yet, just as a comparison of uh, the amount of particulate that comes out. This is, this one here was just baking soda. This, until I was doing Epsom salts, this was the largest amount of particulate I had seen. And then I moved down here to baking soda and vinegar, and you can see the amount of particulate in the bottom already. And then, oddly enough, vinegar has no particulate settling out. Even the white that was in the bottom has disappeared. So I need to figure out what recipe I actually need for this. But there you have it. What appears to maybe be success in three out of four tries.